Brief History of Esotericism Throughout history, there have been those who reveal the mystery and keep the wisdom of the ages kindled. These beings are called initiates, hermeticists, occultists, seekers, adepts, chalas, etc. There are only a certain numbers of these essences that continue to recycle. The nature of the hermetic mind is like a stone skipping across the water of different times but it is always the same stone. The few true essences responsible for hermetic tradition have tremendous capacities for incarnation and magical appearance. Their task is to reformulate the original doctrine according to the different ages and languages. The original doctrine that we speak of is the prehistoric knowledge, the original primal knowledge revealed by God to Adam and Moses among others. This original knowledge is handed down in a long elite chain of tradition, transmitted from age to age, from initiate to initiate. Hermes Trismegistus was a major link in this hermetic chain, as were Plotinus, Socrates, Zoroaster, Pythagoras, Apollonius, Paracelsus and Plato and so forth. The knowledge was transmitted through symbols, ceremonies, initiations and rituals in order to preserve, for the world to come, the secrets of the forgotten worlds. Many symbols were purposely cryptic in order to preserve the knowledge from those who would profane it. For this reason, secret societies arose, such as the Rosicrucians, the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Knights of the Holy Grail, and later the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. The Freemasons are perhaps the most well-known occult or hermetic society. Nearly every small town in the Anglo-Saxon society has erected a Masonic temple, many of which are now abandoned. The order of the Freemason traces back to Solomon, renowned as a great and uniquely esoteric king, and also an accomplished magician possessed of many paranormal powers. From Solomon originated many types of symbols and symbolic structures passed down through the ages. The 18th century brought a definite quantum break in the hermetic thinking, beginning with the Industrial Revolution. At this point, there was a peak in European society of hermetic thought and symbolic systems in general. This came to a magnificent flowering in the 16th, 17th and early 18th centuries, with the creation of the Hermetic Museum a huge graphic compendium using popular print media to communicate symbols of the inner journey. Key personalities at this time included Francis Bacon, Robert Flood, Jacob Bohm, and Emanuel Swedenborg. With the rise of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, the mind of Western civilization was caught up in spreading the new social and political forms characterized by the American and French revolutions. At this point, social democracies were developed, resulting in a decline of the aristocracy in general. As long as there is a type of aristocracy, there is a better chance of occult schools operating, as these societies are already based on hierarchical principles. However, this shunning of hierarchical spiritual sensibility in Western civilization was necessary so that the individual human psyche could ferment into its final stage of evolution. Most esoteric schools operate with hierarchical principles, often accompanied by outer forms or degrees of initiation. Once the monarchies were finished, then the old sensibility that had characterized the occult and hermetic streams in the West also subsided. At this stage arose esoteric bridge personalities such as the mysterious Saint Germain and William Blake, a visionary artist who integrated late medieval artistic modalities into his anti-industrial age mythology and symbolism. By the end of the 19th century, the landscape of the planet had completely transformed. The industrial age Europeans had affected every part of the world, spreading their influence of railroads, telegraph and manufactured goods. At this time, the great Western magical tradition, which stretched back to the Renaissance, was scoffed at it by most educated Europeans. With changes in the economic system, coupled with Charles Darwin's findings, people began to lose faith in traditional religion, 
which also led to the perception of life as barren and devoid of meaning. It was no longer the world of cathedrals, temples and mosques, but a world where commercialism reigned supreme. At the time, it appeared that vistas were opening for the individual to become free of feudal society, but in actuality, it is questionable whether spiritual consciousness was significantly raised or not between 1800 to 2000. During the time leading up to the 20th century, there is no question that the physical universe expanded its information belt, allowing humans to receive more information than ever before. But this is only physical horizontal information. The real question is, how much did consciousness expand and continue to expand at the spiritual vertical level? In 1848, the modern spiritualist movement began to flourish in New York. By 1852, the first mediums arrived in England and then France. In 1882, the British Society for Physical Research was established. From this time onward, the spiritual movement, presently known as New Age, has only increased and flourished, bringing to the fore the need for a planetary knowledge and the spreading of universal love. It is in this context that occur the matrix of the template of the modern occult personalities. During the course of this writing, the following personalities made their presences known the most strongly. Eliphaz Levi, Madame Blavatsky, Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, G.I. Gurdjieff, Alistair Crowley, Alice Bailey, Nicholas and Helena Roerich, Dane Rudyard and Mevlana.